Salvete omnes. If you'd like to support the channel along with these patrons, there's a link in the description box below. This is the Pine Ultimus, or second to last, section of this story. In the previous section, Perseus donned his new arms and found the Gorgons. And now we'll see the outcome. Res ificillima erat caput Gorgonis abscidere. Eius enim conspectu homines in saxum vertebantur. Propter hanc causam minerva speculum perseo dederat. Ille igitur tergum vertit et in speculum inspiciebat. Hoc modo ad locum venit ubi medusa dormiebat. Tum falce sua caput eius uno ictu abscidit. Ceterae gorgones statim e somno excitatae sunt, et ubi rem viderunt, ira comotae sunt. Arma rapuerunt et persium occidere volebant. Ille autem dum fugit galeam magicam induit, et ubi hoc fecit statim e conspectu earum evasit. Okay, let's go through these sentences now. Res ificillima erat caput gorgonis abscidere. Have you heard the term in medias res? This is how Homer's Odyssey started, in the midst of things. Res means thing, object, matter, etc. The suffix imus adds the meaning the most, so this means the most difficult. Did you ever notice that ificilus is dis plus facilis, which means easy? Abscidere has the supine form abscissum. Can you see the word scissor in there? This means to cut off or separate. So this means it is a very difficult thing to cut off the head of the gorgon. And the reason is eius enim conspectu homines in saxum vertebantur. Eus means her, referring to the Gorgon, and modifies conspectu, which is ablative. So this means in the sight of her, or in her sight. And notice, these words are interrupted by enim, which happens often in more literary or poetic works. When we invert something, we turn it over. And when you have vertigo, you feel like the world is turning. And the ba and the tur in this word Tell us this is the passive imperfect. So we have, For in the sight of her men were turned into stone. Propter hanc causam minerva speculum perseo dederat. Propter means on account of or because of, when it is used as a preposition followed by the accusative. So propter hanc causam means for this reason, which is a good phrase to memorize. And at the end of this sentence is dererat. This is the pluperfect form of dare. The perfect form of this verb is dedit, which means gave. And dererat is the combination of ded, the perfect stem form, and erat. So it's like a double past tense, which in English is had given. We'll go over this form more later. For this reason, Minerva had given Perseus a mirror. Ille igitur tergum vertit et in speculum inspiciebat. Here, ille refers back to Perseus, and tergum means back. So this means he therefore turned his back and looked in the mirror. Inspiciebat means inspect, but can also mean observe. Apparently the mirror prevented him from being turned into stone. Hoc modo ad locum venit ubi medusa dormiebat. Hoc modo, literally, in this way, is used to make explanations. It's like saying, that's how. So it is, that's how he came to the place where Medusa was sleeping. Tum falce sua caput eius uno ictu abscidit. This sentence is easier to understand if we bracket the word pairs. So we have his sickle and her head, and this word ictus kind of looks like its meaning. Strike, blow, thrust, etc. 
The first and last pair are an ablative, so this means, then with his sickle he cut off her head with one stroke. Keterai gorgones statim e somno excitatae sunt. I'm sure you've heard doctors tell people to do something stat in medical shows. This comes from the word statim, which means at once or immediately. And somnus is sleep, which is in the words insomnia and somnolent. So we have, the other gorgons were immediately aroused from sleep. Et ubi rem viderunt. Ira komotai sunt. Remember, ubi can sometimes mean when instead of where, and rem is the accusative form of res. So the first part means when they saw what was the matter. Then we have komotus, which looks a lot like commotion, right? So we could translate the last half as they were shaken with anger. Arma rapuerunt et persium occidere olebant. Someone who is rapacious is aggressively grasping and greedy. Rapere means to snatch or grab, so this means they grab their arms or weapons. Then we have this verb occidere, which is a combination of ob and caidere. Now we have seen cadere before, which means to fall. Caidere means to fell. This is known as a transitive verb because it takes an object. For example, we say lumberjacks fell trees. Trees is the object. But intransitive verbs have no object, like trees fall. Occidere is the transitive form of occidere. Occidere means to fall down. And occidere means to fell something to the ground or cut it down. Both these verbs also have the extended definition of death. So, okidere means to die, and okidere means to kill. And we know that wolebant means they wanted, but it can also have the extended meaning intended or were on the point of killing Perseus. Ille autem dum fugit galeam magicam induit. Dum means while or during. So this sentence means, but while he flees, he put on the magical helmet. Et ubi hoc fecit statim e conspectu earum evasit. Evadere means to evade or escape. So finally we have, and when he did this, he immediately left their sight. Okay, here's the story one more time. Res ificillima erat caput gorgonis abscidere. Eius enim conspectu homines in saxum vertebantur. Propter han causam minerva speculum perseo dederat. Ille igitur tergum vertit et in speculum inspiciebat. Hoc modo ad locum venit ubi medusa dormiebat. Tum falce sua caput eius uno ictu abscidit. Ceterae gorgones statim e somno excitatae sunt, et ubi rem viderunt, ira comotae sunt. Arma rapuerunt et persium occidere olebant. Ille autem dum fugit galeam magicam induit. Et ubi hoc fecit statim e conspectu earum evasit. Okay, we'll finish this story in the next lesson. See you then. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you can, help support the channel on Patreon, where there are audio downloads and transcripts of each dialogue and story. Gratias!